I've been waiting to make this video for so long and I'm super excited to finally talk about it because I've been keeping my mouth shut for too long. I'm gonna rewind time a little bit and start off when we bought the 2020 Supra. When we got that about eight months ago, almost now, it's crazy how long ago that feels because it feels like it was just yesterday. Six months ago, eight months ago, whenever that was, ended up searching for a 2020 Supra. Now that car was interesting because that was a brand new car that they were debuting after the Mark IV that it's been like retired for like 20 something years. And that car was being distributed from dealerships and it was like first come first serve. There wasn't really a like pre-order list. It was you show up to a dealership, if you have a guy who says he'll sell it to you, he'll give you the car and you go home with it and that was that. There was really no way to guarantee yourself a car early no matter what anybody tells you. That's just, that's just not how that car was laid out. A few days before I actually got my car and I secured it, Corvette decided to release their 2020 C8 car that they were going to be releasing in the beginning of 2020. On paper, the car absolutely demolished the Mark V Super. I mean, people, as you guys remember, were literally free freaking out and started laughing at the Mark V saying it was a wimpy car and you got so little power and stuff. The C8 at the time I think they released that the car was going to make like 500 or 600 horsepower and it was starting at like $60,000. It's mid-engine and there's tons of trunk space and it has magnetic ride and it has a lift kit and it has all this stuff. And at the time the Mark V was just a $60,000 car with MSRP on top of that and only made 330 horsepower blah 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 blah. When they released that car I was like I need this car. I need it. It's not even a question. I need it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to do whatever I can to get it as soon as possible. You know how it goes. So I started reaching out to some friends who I knew were in the Corvette community and I ended up hitting up Mike, also known as Street Speed 717 He is like the kingpin on YouTube for Corvette content. And I started talking to him. I'm like, yo, do you know anyone who can kind of get me in contact with Jim? I know you're trying to get the car and I respect that. Like, but can you help me? Maybe? Can you try and help me out? And he ended up linking me with his buddy, Matt. So shout out to Matt, who was like, yo, I can take care of you. I'm going to help Mike out. I'm going to help you out too. We can get this car early. So this is when it starts to get really interesting. Around this time, there were tons of people who were making claims on the internet saying, oh, I ordered my C8 or, oh, I pre-ordered my car already and oh I did this and I did that. From my contact and from my information that I was getting it was much more lower key than you know they're just handing out cars and you couldn't just pay up front and it wasn't really about who could give the money first but more so who you know and how you can get the car. Now the C8 is being released in multiple phases. There's like a phase one, a phase two, and a phase three and then I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe at the start of 2021 is when cars are actually going to be delivered to a dealership and then people can come to the dealership and buy them. But to my understanding, the first couple phases are all technically pre-orders, meaning they're just going to be people who have already purchased the cars. Now, that's my understanding. And I'll correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my understanding. Matt was like, yo, I'm going to do everything I can to get you guys as early as I can on the list, and I'll kind of keep you updated. A couple weeks passed, he started to get some info from GM, and the dealership he works at is like the number one dealership in the United States for Corvette sales, so I think they got some extra help. A few weeks later passed, and I get a call from Matt, and he's like, yo, I got you guys an early VIN number. I don't know what number it's going to be yet, but you're going to have a really early one. And long story short, he's like, I need you to build this car, inspect it how you want, and we need to turn it in like as soon as possible. Because at this point, all the representatives like around the world are putting together build sheets, build lists and stuff from their clients and handing it to GM to try to get them early access. Here's this documentation. So he sent it over and he's like, I need you to check everything you want on this car and build it exactly how you want. He was like, there are a few options that I've been told are going to prolong the process. Like there are certain colors, like there was a blue color that was like a six month extra weight. There was a bunch of like exterior carbon pieces that he's like, yo, if you get this, that's another three month weight. We kind of have like an idea of how we wanted to spec it so we could get in really, really early. So he's like, don't do these options, but everything else go crazy. So knowing me, I, uh, I actually have the spec list here, so I'll share it with you guys. I went pretty gnarly on the spec list and I did that because I wanted to have a car that was super, super special. So I'm going to share with you here a brief layout of what I got. So we automatically did the highest package they offered, which was the three LT. Uh, custom yellow stitching. And if you guys saw the video where I went and saw the car at a dealership, you actually can see what I'm referring to here. And I talked about exactly how I was gonna build it. So if you guys don't remember, yellow piping, so yellow stitching on the whole entire car, yellow seat belts. I did the competition sport seats, which are the carbon back seats. I did the performance package glass roof rather than having it just be solid 
solid color, or you could do carbon. The carbon roof's dope, but that was another huge weight, so we did glass roof. Carbon mirrors, that was an extra weight. Added on the front lift, the front lift with the memorization of stuff was an extra couple thousand dollars that didn't come with the car, so I ended up doing that. I did magnetic ride, that was an extra. I did all the interior carbon pieces, that was all extra. I did the square steering wheel, and I did the Z51 performance magnetic selective ride control, I told you guys that. Z51 brake package, which was the bigger brakes. I did the suede interior carbon on the whole entire car, that was an extra package. I did the yellow calipers, that was an extra package. Did the rear spoiler, literally did everything that you could do that wouldn't prolong the process of getting the car. So, this is where stuff gets really interesting. So I expect the car out, I sent it in to Matt, and then a couple days later he's like, yo, here's your bill, like I just wanna double check you're okay with it. Now I'm gonna give you guys a second. They said the car was $60,000, which is true. A base car is $60,000, which is the same price as a Mark V Supra. But how I spec it out, if you spec it out, which almost everyone's gonna wanna do, I'll give you guys a second to guess the number. Final price number, any guesses, any guesses, any guesses? Final price comes in at a whopping 93 thousand dollars. So this sixty thousand dollar car they marketed, which is like yes, you can get the carbon seats to grand, but when you do the Z fifty one, when you do the three LT, when you do the carbon seats, you do the big brakes, you do all custom coloring, you do the it gets really expensive. You can spec it to be over a hundred thousand dollars if you choose to, which is a lot of money, but hey, it's a lot of cars. Mark V Supra, 60 grand spec C8 Corvette can be a six hundred car if you want it to be. Nonetheless, I was like, woo, that's a lot, but I'm still 100 percent in love. Yes, let's get that car in order. We ended up placing that and he's like, yo, if you guys want an even earlier access, there's a $5,000 option that you can pay, which pretty much bumps you in front of everyone else. So of course I bumped for that as well. We kind of submitted everything and that was it. We kind of just waited, waited and waited. And then eventually some stuff started to leak out and we got a hold of our VIN sheet. And this is where it gets super interesting because this is, this is crazy. This is like, when you think about it, it's like, how did this even happen? I get a call from Matt and he's like, like, hey, uh, one thing I did on the side, I didn't really tell you, but I just decided I'd do it for you because it wouldn't hurt, is there's a thing, a part of GM, where you can apply as an application to be a VIP client. Now, it's my understanding a VIP client is usually like uh, certain celebrities who are really close to GM or people with really extensive backgrounds who have been customers of GM for a long time. There's a couple things that can classify you to be a VIP client, but you have to put together an application, they check your social medias, they kind of like make sure you aren't like, I guess, a rebel nonetheless, for lack of a better term. But Matt put together an application for me and sent that in, and I got accepted to the GM VIP client list, which I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Matt, that's amazing, it's gonna help me out. And we ended up securing VIN number six, 16, baby, let's go. So out of all the Corvettes in the world, we have number 16. Let me just, let me just back this up. Out of all the Corvettes in the whole entire world, we will have number 16. VIN 16. That is absolutely crazy. Now if you guys thought my Mark V was an early car, that was number like 700 something out of the VIN number list. I have VIN number 16. I cannot believe that. So shout out to Matt because he did all the work for me in making that happen. And I think Mike has VIN number 14 I believe. So long story short, where we're going with this big rambling video is a lot of people are claiming that, oh I got my C8 and I pre-ordered it and it's coming like very soon and they don't know anything about the vendor or anything, uh, I'm here to tell you guys that we got confirmation from GM earlier this month. I got an email from them, they're like, yo, your car is in production, we're building it right now, and we want to know what you want your nameplate to say. They're like, oh, because you have an early access VIN and you're your VIP client, we're making a custom thing, a custom nameplate for your car. So your car will be like, this was made for blank. So I had them put my name on it, and I was told the car is to be ready in the next two to three weeks, rough estimate. Now the car is going to be shipped to Kentucky, where we actually are gonna take delivery from the main headquarters in the United States. So I'm gonna get a call when the car is gonna be two to three days out from being ready and I'm gonna book a flight to Kentucky, fly out there and we're gonna go to the facility and the big, some of you might have seen on videos, it's a huge white showroom and the doors open up and they drive the car out right after it gets its like final, final, final assembly and we're gonna take delivery of the car in Kentucky in less than a month. On top of that, we're gonna be VIN number 16 and from what I'm told, we should have the first 
C8 Corvette in California. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys all this because I get so many questions of you guys asking if I still bought one or if I pre-ordered it or what's the news on that or what my VIN number is. So I kind of wanted to clear it up and tell you the process in which we got to that uh, and that we actually have confirmation from GM that it's being built. They already started building it like a week ago. We're gonna be taking delivery in two to three weeks. We're VIN number 16 and we're gonna have it literally before anyone else really. There's only 15 other people that are gonna get it before us and I'm pretty sure my Mike and I are the only two people that are really like internet based that are getting it that early. If y'all think that I've been sleeping on what we're gonna do this thing, nah, nah. You guys be playing yourself because the plans that we have, let me just say this, we're gonna be the first to do a lot of things. It's gonna be a race like the Mark V Supra. We've done a lot of talking to Sheepy, we've done a lot of talking to Magnaflow. Y'all already know I like to bag some tits, so just wait, it's gonna come super hot. We're gonna start this year off with a big bang, kinda get our feet moving. And another reason why I wanna release this video right now, why I'm just making a video of me talking, is because our Street Hunter C8 renderings are 100% ready to be debuted and shown to you guys. Later this week, I'm gonna make the announcement video and I'm gonna be posting stuff on Instagram, releasing all the pictures and renders of what our new Street Hunter kit is gonna look like for this car. And let me tell you boys, I will not let you guys down. That being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.